Hey, what's going on guys? Z here. In this video, I'd like to demonstrate the final version of what that I came up with so far uh, regarding the multiplayer CNC server. So, in this video, I would be playing... Just hold on a sec, the camera has disappeared somewhere. So, uh, just making this big uh, uh, camera view because I'm going to be showing the screen of my smartphone to give you an idea because... Uh, in the previous video it was kind of a little bit too little there so it wasn't really that clear to see what's going on so uh okay let me just uh, take this away for a while so here is um proof of concept implementation of several boards where uh we can play cnc with kind of like each other but obviously i would be playing uh, versus my own self but from different devices on my local network uh, I just tried, uh, I tried to deploy this at pythonanywhere.com and it's okay, but the problem is that I couldn't run the, my UDP server uh, as a background task there because they have limitations and they they ask to pay to subscribe for a monthly a monthly subscription to, to make it. And I don't really want to subscribe for paid mo monthly subscription just to show a single video which nobody really probably care about us especially so uh i would be satisfied with demonstrating this uh how this stuff works on my local network basically so uh here is here is the address that we have uh this is my local network addre address and now i'll just uh so here is my smartphone and you see i'm, I'm i would be connecting exactly to the same address Okay, so if I just hit OK, and I see the same, so you just, this is it. And now let's say that uh, here I uh, want to connect to, let's say, board, let's say, let's play on board 2, okay? So here I'm waiting for opponent already on the board 2, and here on my smartphone, if I just uh so i just want to so i've just uh updated and you see like this is active while this is disabled this means that someone has joined to the game so i need to click this button now right so this is disabled now okay so i just click it okay and i did connect as black so now let me just resize the board appropriately so it would fit the width of the screen so it would so it was so it would be a little bit easier to play to, to touch the pieces okay just hold on a sec okay okay and maybe even like this is okay so here it is so you see like I'm playing with the black pieces, not sure if this is seen. So here we have the black pieces, here we have the red pieces. Okay, and now, uh, yes, and now I just make a move on here. And at the same time, I just want to I want to be showing you this. So probably, yeah, let's just open the browser console. Uh, to shift this slide thinner a little bit oh so yeah uh obviously i'm probing the udb server simultaneously so here we can see that both the red and black has connected but no moves has yet been done on the board okay so i think this would be the case okay so sorry now and i just make a move Okay, and you see like the piece has been moved on the smartphone as well. Well, something wrong with the sound of the smartphone, but uh, that doesn't really matter that much at the moment. Okay, so now I'm going to make a response on my smartphone. So I centralize the cannon. And you see like this has been reflected as well. And now just to show you how the game would end, I would go for a checkmate in, uh, for, for a fool's checkmate. So, okay, 
So I just take this one. Okay, so you see like it's taken. Now it's check. Okay, so red red gives a check. Uh, so black black would now go need to go somewhere. Just just make some dumb move. Uh, okay. Oh, sorry, <laughs> sorry, <laughs> wrong, wrong board. Yeah, I actually need, yeah, obviously I need to do this here. So I just move this black piece away. Okay, and the next move, I want to develop my cannon. So you see like cannon has been developed and now I'm threatening the checkmate. So I will now make another dump move by black. Uh, so let's say, Just move this cannon away. And now this should be a checkmate after this move. Okay. And he says, you lose. Okay. So here I lost as black and I get this alert. Uh, on the other hand here, uh, I have you win. And this is how it goes. And now another tricky thing. So let's say uh, another another feature that I've implemented. So let's so here just click OK. OK. And now if I just close this window, then then the fact that opponent has been disconnected, you see, opponent has disconnected. This has been reflected here. OK, so opponent has been disconnected. So on the, on the other client, I can see that the client has disconnected basically. I'm sorry for opening my email. And that's pretty it basically. Yeah, that's kind of pretty it. So, uh, yeah, I think, I think, uh, well, uh, actually I really feel satisfied at this point. And again, like, uh, first I really thought to deploy this somewhere on the free hosting, but again, like, with this issues on um, running background tasks like the like the UDP server, I think that's not really that great idea. So I don't know. Probably I can quickly uh, summarize the project and walk th walk through uh, this. Maybe not the source code, but walk through the general project structure. Uh, okay, guys. I'm sorry. Just let me just minimize my camera view a little bit because. It's getting a bit too uh it's too big now so let me just adjust my script slightly a little bit okay and just running one more time no 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 uh, I, want, I want to run it okay no no it's much better okay so a quick overview regarding the project structure so i have uh i had the http server running at uh one of my computers on the local network at the port number five south dance. and literally all it does so it has uh the this lobby room where we can uh see like this pick this uh this template so we can join to the game on uh, some of the words, either either as red or black. Uh, then this route, game HTML. Oh, th this is not even used anymore. Oh, no, no, hold on a second. Yeah, no, yeah, th this route is actually used when we, yeah, this route is used when we try to join the game. Okay, and this one is used either for get or post requests, and this is done uh, in the background. So if I just open the console again, so we see like uh, here, I have that uh, we are playing the game. We, we are on the board one now. So red has connected, true. Okay, black didn't yet connect, no moves made. So I, I can also demonstrate you this within uh, actually within a single browser and uh, even with, even within the single IP because it doesn't care about IP. 
So let's say I join here as well. So now it's, it's, it shows that, yeah, that black has, has connected as well. And uh, if I just start making some moves, it would be, so prints the move. So now the difference. So to request, the get request is done in order to probe the UDP server. So again, like uh, I have the HTTP server and HTTP server talks to UDP server. So I will just, I'll now demonstrate you this. So here I have, uh, here I have the HTTP server. Okay. Uh, so here, uh, uh, the server that uh, actually hosts this Flask web application. And here is the UDP server. So you see like it's getting probed every time, every, every one second, literally. Okay, and this is just to probe uh, the game to make sure that we update uh, the piece position uh, depending on the word state on the server actually. So simply iterating while uh, interacting via the moves. And let's say uh, opponent responds is here. So here you see like, we have this move being done on board as well. Already we have two two moves uh, within the move. Let's just have a look at the random one. So we have this encoded moves. This is specific to my uh, to my CNC engine that uh, keeps track of move validation. And this is literally it. So we're sending this post request. Uh, so here we have the post request to the UDP server and oh so th this worst one was yeah so already the first move yeah so both both are connected and just sent the very first move and so on so if i make the move it's done on another board as well also the sound is there highlighting the the the, the last square so where the opponent has moved so all this stuff so literally a proof of concept network play here and also uh, validating uh, the end of game, so whether e e each side is checkmated or stalemated, doesn't matter, so it doesn't have legal moves, regardless of whether it has, uh, whether, whether it is under, under the check. Again, it, whether the game has been exposed into a check or not, because in CNC we have the stalemate is also a win for a side that is stalemating, not, not only checkmating. And again, like if I say uh, disconnect from here, you see like opponent has disconnected and the game has uh, restored it. And you see like all the game, well, actually we were at the game one. So we see like game one, now red falls, black falls. So I just, just uh, another opponent just escapes from there because nothing really to do much because opponent has disconnected. So probably we want to start a new game there. And now again, like all this free, uh, free rooms. So let's say just uh, I just connect with the random sites on random boards and update this this one again. So you see, like on the board one, we have red connected, black didn't connect. Here on the board two, we have uh, well neither of sites connected for some reason. Uh, I probably didn't just misclick that. Okay, let me just try. Okay, red. Oh, yeah, it's totally wrong. Just didn't, just didn't connect really. So here, open a new tab, and this one I want to update. Yeah, red true. Well, I'm a little bit not sure why this is happening. Probably needs a little bit of a debugging. Oh, it just probably gives a disconnected state for some of. Yeah, it, it prints the opponent has disconnected. Well, uh, not perfect yet, but again, like uh, as far I'm, as far as I'm not really going to deploy this anywhere, and this was just my local private, uh, my local private experiment uh, regarding networking. I think this is just really more than enough. So, yeah. This is it, guys. This is it, basically. So if I just try to play, well, it seems like yeah, that for now only a single game is working nicely. So yeah, let's just checkmate the opponent one more time, and here, 
and here and I don't know uh, just make a move and here we get a checkmate so you win and here we have you lose because it's a checkmate so this is it guys uh, I don't know whether this project makes some sense to you but for me for me personally this was really uh, this was fun to play around with this sort of a networking technology and despite the fact that this weird idea of uh, using UDP server behind the HTTP server might might seem completely completely weird still see like it, it kind of like encapsulating uh, the processes that relates to the games and this is good enough already I believe so actually it could be uh, a scale server as well nobody does that that's that's weird but but anyway the idea is is very very similar so this is how it this is how it goes and now the opponent has disconnected and I'm getting redirected back to the lobby to start a new game so yeah I think this is it from my side uh, I have uh, lots of uh, requests uh, both from subscribers and from my main job at cnc.com where I'm where I'm integrating my uh, CNC engine Wukun, uh, with their site so I'm a little bit busy now I'm not sure regarding the further the the further videos uh, and not really sure what am I supposed to be doing next I just I've created lots of stuff that but it seems to be misarranged at the moment so probably trying to bring all the stuff together would make sense but I'm not sure how exactly I'm about to be proceeding uh, with the f uh, with the future videos so if you have any ideas then probably yeah so yeah <coughs> uh, this is it from my uh, this is it from my side guys thanks for watching until the next time and take care